Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, Chief Equity Strategist of S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, I discuss the differences between street and S&P Capital IQ recommendations on stocks and sectors within the S&P 500. Most S&P stock reports have a Wall Street consensus opinion page that lists the brokerage firms following each stock analytically and the number of analyst buy through sell opinions. Using the numerical equivalent of investment opinions for stocks in the S&P 500 from 5 for buy to 1 for sell, the average Wall Street opinion score by sector showed a fairly tight clustering between 3.4 for utilities to 3.9 for energy versus 3.7 for the entire S&P 500. The investment opinions of S&P Capital IQ equity analysts, however, showed average scores between 2.8 for materials to 4.0 for telecom services versus 3.4 for the S&P 500. When excluding hold recommendations, opinions from Wall Street analysts still showed a narrow clustering from a low of 3.8 to a high of 4.4 versus a wider range of scores for S&P Capital IQ equity analysts from a low of 2.5 to a high of 4.5. The widest difference between Wall Street average scores and S&P Capital IQ equity analyst scores were most evident in 19 stocks found in six sectors please visit www.getmarketscope.com to view this report. So there you have it. It has always been said that differing opinions make a market. Today, there is a wide difference of opinion on where the overall market is headed based on payrolls and politics. In addition, it probably comes as no surprise that Wall Street analysts differ on which sectors and stocks are expected to be outperformers based on varying interpretations of fundamental and technical considerations. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.